Hornby recently released on the HM7000 Bluetooth system a new sound profile for the W1 Loco, so I decided to install one on my model. But at the same time, I wanted to try and get the best possible performance out of it by trying alternative speakers. So to start the test, I first used the Bluetooth speaker that was supplied with the Homebe kit. I placed this in the largest speaker enclosure supplied with the kit in order to get the best possible sound from it. As a comparison, I then tried both a flame speaker and a baby boomer speaker in the loco to see if there is any appreciable difference. The flame speaker seemed to perform well at the lower bass channels, but this was not really what I was looking for in a steam outline loco, where the main effect comes from the whistles. To me, this boom speaker seemed to give a better around sound, especially at the higher frequencies, so that the various whistles came out much clearer. So that's the one that got my vote and I decided to install that in the logo. Having said that, there's not a lot of difference between the speakers. And the supplied Homey speaker does a very good job as long as you've got room to fit it into one of the larger 
the closing boxes. And finally I added in a Hornby power bank. Without it the loco of course stopped immediately upon losing power. But with it I turned off the power here and the loco and sound ran on for another 11 seconds. So after some work inside the tender to create the required space, I was then able to fit in the decoder, the speaker and the power bank. So now we're ready for a test run. The fitting of a power bank has made a big difference in low speed performance and I will definitely be using them in future installations.